Thank you very much. I was born and raised in Ghana's protected areas. My father was a park warden, and so I spent most of my childhood running about the West African savannas and chasing baboons sometimes. <laughs> I remember nights when lions would roar right in our backyard. When I was seven, I lost my father, who was only 45 years old. My father loved me dearly, and I often wondered if there was anything I could do to bring him back. My father had big plans for wildlife conservation in Ghana, but unfortunately, he has ceased to exist in the line of his duty. He became extinct. And none of his plans to save species materialized. When I think of species extinction, I think of my father. I think of losing a dear loved one with no possibility of ever having him back. And this is why halting species extinction has been one of my life's passion. Since 2005, I've been doing everything I can to give the Togo slippery frog a fighting chance to survive. This frog is dear to me for many reasons, one of which is its unique whistling calls, which goes like this. <laughs> I always look forward to this call anytime I'm in the rainforest. And as a matter of fact, my rainforest experience is never complete without hearing this call. When my two little girls, Lois and Eunice, grew up, I want them to have the opportunity to hear this call as well. And with this weekly award, I have the opportunity to make this happen. I will be able to significantly expand the area of forests protected for this species and to partner with communities to reduce its consumption. I would like to dedicate this award in memory of my father and other eco-warriors who have paid the ultimate price protecting wildlife and forest. I do believe that protecting the planet requires of us all to make changes, and we all must do the best that we can. Thank you. <laughs>